talking to some of the officers today, they were asking why aren't we going with a V8, which is something we need to do our job. The reason why we're looking at this sort of vehicle, one, we are trying to go as much as we can towards the carbon neutrality. I understand that's part we're of it. We're thinking if those issues do come up, we have that, for lack of a better term, horsepower to keep up with what we need. Anytime I'm going to see us spending, you know, $27,000 replacing an internal combustion engine vehicle with another internal combustion engine vehicle, I'm going to have to question it. A, a Nissan LEAF, you know, which is becoming pretty commonplace. And this kind of sounds like we're just not thinking outside of the box. We're going smoking the bandit here because that's what the cops usually do. We're gaining on them. And I think there's an opportunity here for us to be forward thinking with this. When we've committed to carbon neutrality, to carbon neutrality, to carbon neutrality, use that couple thousand dollars to equip a Nissan Leaf or a Prius or a Ford Focus Electric, I think we're missing an opportunity. And I'm just going to keep hammering away at it. I'm going to challenge this anytime I see it. It's a shame to see a you know, 2013 car that's going to be around for a while, that's going to be only getting 31 miles per gallon highway, 19 city. God knows what the emissions are. In my uh, humble opinion, the uh, operational uh, performance is paramount, so uh, if the police tell me they need a V8 uh, with a supercharged engine to do their job and to keep the public safe and uh, go with it because uh, that is the most important thing.